Uh, I'm Alexander Caldes and I'm uh, the Chief of Country Outreach, Technology and Innovation at the UN Environment Unit. Hi, I'm Rebecca Firth from the Humanitarian OpenStreetMap team. I'm Neil Jackson, I'm Chief Statistician at DFID, which is the Department for International Development. I think data is really important in the development sector because there are huge numbers of programs um, that have been going on for many years. Uh, that so far haven't been particularly well informed by data. Um, so this is a space that is already funded, work is already happening, uh, but it has the potential, the potential to be a lot more impactful if we're really using data when we think about how we plan and execute those programs. Um, and in addition to that, I think, you know, there's this increasing awareness within the sector that data is actually really important not just to measure the SDGs, but also to actually plan and implement them. Um, and has a huge role in achieving the SDGs themselves. Um, we, we, the UN Environment, when it, it came to the UN World Data Forum, came with a very ambitious uh, plan. We, we, together with the Data Forum, we have been active participants on Iron Earth uh, Symposium, and we launched here for the first time publicly the initiative on the big data on the environment and, and, and so we have been collecting extraordinary feedback from colleagues from peers uh, collecting recommendations we have been extending our network of partnerships and having fantastic cooperation with other international agencies as well as experts in all the different fields that uh, impact on the big data on the environment so we very much happy uh, with uh, the outcome of the of the, the UN World Data Forum and the Iron Earth uh, Symposium, and then we wish to continue and to further along this work uh, around the world. I'm expecting to take away more guidance and understanding around how um, unofficial data producers like citizens and communities um, can better support the needs of official data users like national statistical offices. Um, so there's been lots of discussion and dialogue around um, the ways in which those two actors can work together um, and really hoping to kind of be able to take that into practice um, as we go forward. So I've been pretty inspired by uh, the conversations we've been having here in Dubai. I think the uh, discussions are much more concrete in terms of the things that are going to happen. So for example, one of the big challenges is how you get data to speak to other data and we've got some really good guidance in terms of how to make that happen. I was really inspired in terms of the agenda to leave no one behind. Uh, we've been uh, in the summer the Inclusive Data Charter was launched and DFID are big champions of that. I think some of the discussions here were quite inspirational in terms of some of the challenges that different organizations are going to take on. So for example, the Kenyan Bureau of National Statistics is going to sort of try to get better data on stateless people. And that's a real challenge. And I think the fact that that's uh, one of the things that they're trying to do in terms of providing rounded, more complete set of statistics for Kenya is going to be really good. In terms of when I get back to the office, the sort of things I'm going to be looking at is how do we join up more on development finance? So different donors are providing different types of funding but there's real opportunities if we work together that we can actually support the modernization of statistics in a much more systematic way. So over the next two years, I think the dialogue engaging both the statistics community, the data community, but with wider partners on the development cooperation side, and in particular in government to mobilize domestic finance, is going to be a sort of major challenge for the next couple of years. And I hope we'll be able to make good progress on that. For me, one of the biggest uh, changes between this World Data Forum versus uh, the first one is the increasing appetite for official and non-official data sources to be working together. Um, so kind of previously, I think those two things were seen as slightly in competition with each other. Um, and now there's much more dialogue and engagement and understanding around how they're very complementary and can be used to sort of uh, support each other going forward. I think the key outcomes are how the different communities from the data side, the statistics side, are going to work together to modernize statistics uh, offices and also how they're going to work together on some of the big uh, data challenges uh, that are going to be needed if we are going to deliver on the sustainable development goals and leave no one behind.